Before we continue on to the video, just need to be able to take a few seconds of your time. And so we want to be able to ask you a question. Are you looking to gain more referrals for your agency, your home health, your home care, your hospice agency? We want you to be able to join us at our online marketing boot camp that has over seven and a half hours of training. When you actually watch our boot camp and join our online marketing boot camp training, you're going to get a free month access to our 10xpatientreferrals.com. So sign up for a limited time at 10xpatientreferrals.com and enjoy all the content. So let's go ahead and get back to the video that you're currently watching. Hey everyone, it's Michael here with Home Health Success Academy and 10xpatientreferrals.com and in this video we're going to be able to share with you guys probably one of the biggest problems and giving you the solutions that most home care companies have and that is finding caregivers to work for their company. That's number one, but here's one of the biggest problems that a lot of home care, non-medical, private duty agencies have, even home health agencies, is not just finding caregivers or workers for their company, but to also keep them working for your organization. So it's going to be a two-part on this video series. I'm not too sure if we're going to separate them into two videos or we're just going to keep it in one video. But anyways... You know, please stick through this whole video because it's probably one of the most important things. One of the biggest problems is finding caregivers, right? And we get a referral, we get a patient, but then we can't staff it, okay? Or we do have that one caregiver ready to go, and then we staff that caregiver to that particular patient and client, but the client doesn't want that caregiver. Has that ever happened to you? It's happened to us plenty of times, and it's going to happen to you if it hasn't yet. And so making sure that you have a pipeline of workers or people that have applied for jobs with you is such an important thing. And also understand that most caregivers, they will have that one full-time job. And so, you know, they may apply with you, but if you don't give them a, a assignment, an assignment, a job, a person to care for, you know, they need to find a job. So, you know, by the time that you don't offer them something, probably within 24, 48 hours, they're working for another company. So then now you have, you know, their name, you have their name in front of you. And then all of a sudden you get a patient and then now you call them and they say they already have a job. You only had that one person to go to. Now you're just fumbling around trying to look for a caregiver to work for that new referral that you have. And that's going to cause you guys problems. Or at the very same time as you might have a caregiver working for you already and you assign them to a particular client. But then all of a sudden the caregiver leaves you guys. They're not happy. They got a better offer and they move on to the next agency. Right. So in this video series, we're going to share with you guys how we find caregivers. And towards the middle, you're going to hear something that we do for our company that really makes it easy for us to be able to get caregivers to work for our companies. So the first two things to be able to find caregivers is using a job site. Right. Like, for example, Indeed or a zip recruiter. There's a minimal fee to join. Um, it's free to join, but it's uh, you have to pay per posting that you put right per job posting. Right. So what this does is that when people are looking for jobs, they already have their um, their I'm trying to think of the word right now. For some reason, I'm blank. Um, their resume. There you go. Their resume. I truly apologize. They had the resume uploaded so that, you know, if they click, you know, like on a job that they want to apply for, you get that resume right away. And you can see that. Right. So that's through Indeed and ZipRecruiter. But what, what's happening is that you are actually, unfortunately, competing against other recruiters as well, because that's, that's where people go to to be able to apply for jobs. So, you know, the person that has advantage really here is the person looking for a job because they can apply with multiple places at, you know, at one click of the button. It wasn't like back in the days where if somebody wanted to apply for a position, right, that they actually will have to go to each facility themselves, right? So nowadays it's made it easier, it's more friendly for the person looking for the job. OK, the next thing that we actually do that I prefer the most is using Facebook, right? In Facebook, you can actually do Facebook marketing. Um, you can spend maybe $10, $15 to put up a boost post to say that you're looking for a certain position. And then you can actually target people who are caregivers or who are nursing assistants already as it is. 
okay? And within Facebook also, within your area, they'll have Facebook groups of CNAs, of caregivers, and you can jump into those uh, mixes as well and put some posts in there if you can, if you need to. Um, now there's a little strategy we kind of do sometimes when we are really short and for some reason, because we always want to have at least 15 to 20 names in our list ready to go. Um, just in case we have problems, but we actually have more than that at times. But when we drop to about 20, we start increasing our pipeline of potential um, caregivers to work for us. As we will see it sometimes, we'll get a we'll get referrals of like 15, 20 referrals sometimes on a, on a weekend, and that's one of the craziest times ever that when it happens, right? So in Facebook, you can go after other um, Facebook pages of caregiving companies in your area. And guess who most likely will like a Facebook page of a caregiving company? Not really patients, but more likely employees. And so when you do that, you can go into those pages and see who are liking them. And then maybe you can send them a DM directly and say, hey, we saw, you know, you probably work for so-and-so. I was wondering, would you like um, to get information about our jobs? And so, you know, a lot of people will say, well, that's kind of shady to do, Michael. But guess what? You need to be able to bring in a caregiver to get that referral taken care of, right? Um, another place we go to is unemployment office. So the unemployment office is such a great place because they have job boards in there and you can actually post some posters and they welcome that because they want to make sure that people can find jobs. And so in unemployment offices, you can actually post these job postings for yourself. Now, the one I'm going to share with you guys right now next is my second favorite one, right? And then after this, I'm going to share with you guys what we do, number one, that gets us the most um, caregivers as well. Uh, number one is CNA schools, right? C or nursing assistant schools. There's going to be private um, schools in your area. There's also going to be um, schools that are within um, the uh, junior colleges or even high schools in your area. And so what you can do is you can give them a call, speak to the director of nursing and say, hey, you know what, um, I, when is going to be your next graduating class? And they let you know, they give you their schedule. And then you say, hey, can I come in for a quick 15 minutes to introduce ourselves? And maybe, you know, if some people are interested, we can get their information. At least when they graduate, they can start working right away. We have jobs for them available. And most of the time, these schools will allow you to be able to come in. The reason why is they want the people that go to their school to get a job right away because it helps them stand out that they're doing their job to help these students get positions, right? And so what's amazing is this, is in most states for non-medical private duty caregivers or homemakers, they actually don't need to be a CNA. So it depends on your state. But if you're in one of those states, it's not required. Guess what? You can actually offer them employment already before they even graduate, Okay. And then you can give them a better pay or maybe a dollar more once they actually get their CNA certification through the state that you're actually in. Now, here's a twist on what we have done. In my company, we have a separate company that actually we have our own nursing assistant school. And so we have one in the southeast of the United States and also in the Midwest. And so right there alone, we can tell our, our teacher who are the best candidates that are going to be good to work. And so right there, before everything starts, we start talking to them already and say, hey, we have a position available for you. And so, you know, it allows us to be able to get the pickings before they actually become, you know, needed out there. So, you know, should you open up a CNA school? Number one, it's very profitable. I mean, it really is. We charge, for example, $800 per student to be able to take a class. Um, and they pay it out of pocket. Some unemployment centers also gives us certificates to pay for those. Um, we average around 40 students per course, you know, so just do the math right there alone. The cost to be able to pay for a, um, an instructor, an RN, is around $3,000 um, for a whole class. And so, you know, there is profit in there, but the very main thing is it allows us to be able to find caregivers right away. Now, the best place, the best way to grab and find caregivers for your company, right, where they're actually gonna be there for you is this way. It's through your own caregivers that's already currently working for you. So let me share with you guys the way we handle it. So our caregivers that, we, that works for us, we tell them, hey, just to let you know, we're always gonna be needing caregivers. If you know people that wants to work for us, that wants to be part of our organization, you feel that they're a good fit. If you refer them to us and they actually work for us, we get them a place, we get them a patient, 
and that patient remains with us for three months, a minimum of three months, the referral caregiver is going to get $100. So just imagine if the caregiver they refer to us ends up working for us for a whole year straight, the one that referred that caregiver, the video is brought to you by medicationremindorprogram.com. Are you trying to look for that one edge up to be able to get you more referrals or to get new referral sources? Well, that's medicationremindorprogram.com. If you start offering this for your patients and future patients, you're going to be able to show future referral sources that you're doing something different, that you're providing better services than your competition. The Daily Reminder program goes like this. We will call the patients for you twice a day and remind them to take their medications at 9 o'clock in the morning and at 5 p.m. A top reason for hospitalization of seniors is not taking their medications. So what you're going to be doing here is you're going to be giving them comfort of mind, both family and referral sources. So sign up to MedicationReminderProgram.com right now. There's three packages available, but at the very same time right now with code 50 off, you can actually get 50% off our gold plan and the platinum plan. So just stop by MedicationReminderProgram.com and let us help you get more referrals. Let's go back to the video you're currently watching. Gets $400 extra in that year. Okay. Number one, right? They have to remain employed by us to get that bonus. Number two, they're referring people that they know and they're putting their name in front of that, meaning that, hey, I'm giving my name. I'm saying I'm vouching this for this person, that this person is going to do what they need to do. Right. And so right there alone, they're going to refer a lot of friends because caregivers knows other caregivers. Right. And so that's an amazing thing. So just imagine we have actually a lot of caregivers that's referred more than 20 caregivers to work for us you know, currently right now. So just imagine if one caregiver refers 10 caregivers to work for us and those 10 caregivers ends up staying with us for a whole year to taking care of the patient, guess what happens? That caregiver that did the referral got $4,000 more that year in payments. So, you know, one thing that we have to understand is that when we bring in caregivers, we have to make sure that we provide them value, provide them good pay. And so this is one way for them to make extra money, right? Extra money. And then the caregivers that apply, the newer caregivers, we then tell them, just to let you know, if you remain on board with us and the patient stays healthy, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing to care for the patient, you're monitoring them, you're letting us know what's going on, and that patient does what? Stays with us. Every three months, we're going to give you a bonus of $200 to $250, $250 depending on the patient. Right? It all depends on what we're pulling in on an hourly basis. So, you know, we're moving on to the next step of this video series, and that's how to keep your caregivers. Because caregiver turnovers is such a big problem when it comes to the home care industry. And I can tell you guys this right now, it's one of the biggest headaches that prevents a lot of companies to be able to expand. It's because they're always losing your caregivers. So number one, to keep your caregivers, pay them good, right? If you're paying your caregivers $10 an hour, guess what? The next caregiving company that offers a $12, $13 an hour fee, they're going to jump on that. They really are. They're going to leave you because... Just working a week with $3 more an hour for a 40-hour week, that's an extra $120 in their pockets. So guess where they're going to go? They're going to leave you. And that's one of the highest reasons why a lot of people has turnover in agencies. It's because a lot of agencies pay really cheap. And the reason most agencies cannot afford paying their caregivers a lot, it's because they lower their prices, right? Instead of charging what they should be charging, they're charging $15, $16, $17 an hour, which then they have to make profit, so then they pay their caregivers less. So keeping the caregivers is such an important and vital thing for you guys and reduce your turnover rates for your caregivers to bring in caregivers really fast and to also make sure you keep them, right? Because you don't want, you know, you'd be surprised how many patients you lose when the caregiver leaves. So that's one way to keep them, making sure that you pay them good. You know, so if you ask me, hey, Michael, how much do you pay your caregivers? It varies depending on what state you're in. So like in the Midwest, for example, we start our rates at $13 an hour. Okay. Now, the, to keep them, we give the bonuses, right? So technically, by us giving bonuses, 
right? It increased their rates. So they're instead of getting paid thirteen dollars an hour, they have a potential to make maybe fourteen, fifteen, sixteen dollars an hour, depending on the bonuses that we give them on a monthly basis, on, on a on a quarterly basis, right? So we give the bonuses available to them. They can only get the bonuses if they stay with us and they stick with us, right? So we're making money because the patient's staying with us. So we want to be able to reward the person that is what? That's helping us keep that patient in our services. You don't want to be a company that becomes stingy. So bonuses is such an important thing. So we may give you a high rate, $13, that's more than the average of the current area, but there's a chance that you can actually make more money, right? Through the bonuses, making sure the patient stays, the patient's taken care of. At the very same time, you can make more money if you, if you refer caregivers to us. So there's ways for them to be able to do that. We even offer a lot of our caregivers, you know, since on, on the states where we have our home care companies that we actually have a school for CNAs, we say if they're not a CNA, if they're not an approved CNA, we actually give them an opportunity and a free, you know, a free way to be able to get their CNA certification for free. All they need to do is work a minimum of six months with us. And if they pay up front first and they stay with us more than six months, we actually give them the money back that they paid for um, taking that course. You know, and if they leave early, then guess what? We keep the money. So either or, it's profitable. We're helping the person and at the very same time is, you know, we're making sure that the patients are taken care of. So that's part of education. Another thing is a lot of caregivers feel that the companies that they work for are not giving them enough education. And so you must be able to make sure that you get them ready to face what they're going to be facing out there. A lot of the caregivers, a lot of the homemakers coming into this industry don't have experience as a CNA. Some of them are not CNAs and said, all of a sudden you're going to take them home and you're going to say, hey, take care of your mother or take care of, of this person's mother, this person's grandmother. Um, and so you must provide them with some training and education. So for example, for our company, we have a company called caregivercertificationonline.com. And this was actually created by our company, Home Health Success Academy, in, you know, in, in the answer to be able to provide training for coming in caregivers that are being onboarded. So, you know, we provide them with a full training online and they can actually watch the videos and there's some tests that they have to take and pass, uh, at least with a minimum of 75% that shows that they have some um, stored knowledge of what they actually learned and how to be able to apply it. So in that, they're gonna, there's a bunch of training videos that's in there at the same time as skills videos that they can watch from how to you know move somebody in bed from a bed to a wheelchair, wheelchair to bed, because these are things that they may actually face in the field. So we provide them education. At the very same time, as we know that they are actually ready. Now, let's say, for example, you actually want to have your caregivers go to caregivercertificationonline.com you know, for a seven-day pass to do the whole training and to take the test. It's only $29. And for a lot of agencies that actually works with us, that's part of our 10 patientreferrals.com family, they get 50% off for every caregiver that takes the course. So it's, it's a very important thing that you must provide that. Another thing to how we keep a lot of our caregivers is that we are very HR-driven, meaning that we actually keep in contact with our caregivers. We allow them a chance to be able to speak to the management. If they have any questions, we tell them, hey, just text messages. We want to hear from you. And at the very same time, every two weeks, right, you know, before they get paid, during pay period, we send them a video saying, hey, just want to say thank you so much. If there's anything, we want to be able to keep them updated what's going on. We even tell them, hey, just to let you know, those two CNAs that you referred, guess what? They're turning three months next week. And so you're going to get a bonus on your next paycheck. We want to be have personal. Having an HR-driven company is such an amazing thing, right? So this is little things that we do to be able to find the caregivers to work for our companies, but at the very same time, it's how to be able to keep them on board and not having them go to another company out there. So what are you doing at this very moment to be able to bring in caregivers? Is there something that we share with you guys that, you, um, that you're doing differently that's you know, showing great results? Share that with us in the, in the comments down below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you click subscribe if you haven't yet. Our goal is to help your company. And don't forget, there's a little bell below there. Click that bell because it's going to remind you whenever we have a new video coming up. Always understand we're here for you guys. Also, 10xpatreonreferrals.com, such an amazing website. It gives you all the information to be able to train your marketers, train you to learn how to be able to market your company to increase your referrals, increase your census, and create a profitable agency. Thank you so much and have a great day. Everyone, we want to be able to invite you to our 10xpatientreferrals.com where we have our online home health marketing academy that's going to be able to help either a home health, home care, or hospice agency 
increase referrals, increase their senses, and create a profitable company. Now, at this very moment, you're going to have access to these information through these training, marketing to physicians, how to get to hospitals, how to be able to get into nursing homes, and much, much more at a month-to-month -month basis with no contracts needed. It's just month-to-month. -month. Now, guess what? We are offering you guys for a limited time 50% off any one of our plans. Just choose which one is going to be able to work better for you. So just stop by the 10xpatientreferrals.com at any given moment. So these are the plans that are available, whether it's the gold, the silver, or the platinum plan. Most people go for the gold plan, but it's up to you what's going to work for you. We definitely want to be able to have you in, come in and work with us. So here's two choices. Go to 10xpatientreferrals.com or click the link down below. Take advantage of this right now at this very moment and sign up with us.